Sometimes when we are tired from work, we just want to cook something easy and fast because we don't want to waste a lot of time cooking. But we want to consider a healthy meal as well. So today we're going to cook a very nutritious pasta made from butternut squash that you can cook in less than 20 minutes. Let's start with our ingredients. These are the ingredients that we're gonna use for today. We have our pasta. Look how beautiful they are. It is very similar to rigatoni, but it's not rigatoni. It's called tortiglioni. We're gonna use this fresh butternut squash, and this is gonna be the main ingredient for today. Next, we have anchovies. Right here, we have Parmesan cheese. You can use Parmigiano or Parmesan. Knob of butter. We got one clove of garlic, spring onion, and of course, I've got some creamy and rich coconut milk. I'm gonna start off by cutting our butternut squash into medium-sized cubes. Next is our spring onion. Let's just crush our garlic and peel the skin off. All right, let's start by seasoning our boiling water with some salt. Be generous, but do not exaggerate. And now we're gonna put our pasta. The pasta is like it absorbs everything from the water, also the taste. That's why if you forget to put some salt, your pasta will be blunt. And I told you do not exaggerate because we don't want a salty pasta as well. Keep that in mind. The cooking time of the pasta always depends on which type of pasta are you using. Each shape has a different cooking time, all right? So I'm using tortelloni right now. Whichever pasta you use, just read the label on the packaging or uh, behind the packaging and you can find it there right in a separate pan I will melt some unsalted butter for about 25 grams right also I will put some two fillets of anchovies to give another depth of flavor and umami taste to our butter let's brown it to have a very nice and nutty flavor let's add a clove of garlic spring onions and let's just saute all together for 30 seconds and now let's add our butternut squash. Let's saute it for a minute or so. Now I will add some pasta water to soften the squash and then to make the pasta extra creamy I will use some coconut milk. Now we will just let it boil and simmer until the squash becomes soft. Of course do not forget to season it with salt and pepper. All right guys, I will add my favorite herb which is the sage to intensify the aroma. It will give a very very nice citrus or citrusy and earthy flavor to our sauce. And you can use either dried or fresh sage, whichever is available. Let's try our salt and pepper if it's enough. Very good, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more of our pepper. We can now blitz our pumpkin to a blender or a hand mixer, but we can also just leave it like that if you don't have any mixer. It's now time to add our pasta. We cooked it halfway so that later on it's gonna be perfectly al dente and that's what we want. We don't want a soggy pasta. It's not really pleasant to eat. Let's give it a nice mix and toss if needed and then we can add more pasta water if you still need to, to put some water if it's drying out to create a creamier sauce. But for me I don't think I will need it right now so I can see that the texture is how I want it. So I will just add the parmesan cheese and of butter to finish off our pasta. I will mix it a few times and we are ready to plate. So guys, I hope you liked our recipe for today. As always, click the subscribe button for new recipes and vlogs every week. 
turn on the notification bell. It's very, very, very important. And please send me your requests. I would love to hear from you guys. Do check out my website for the complete details of our recipes. It's www.chefmorrisdanzen.com. Now I will leave you guys with a nice B-roll of our healthy pasta dish. Music